Music, sound effects, narration, and dialogue. Every single radio drama is made up of these four elements. Hello everybody and welcome back to the digital space for drama. And in this series, we're gonna to start to look at radio drama. And I wonder how many of you have actually listened to the radio recently. I was gonna say watch the radio, that doesn't make sense. Or even heard of a radio drama being performed. That's a radio. Put this little thing up here. Why isn't it working? That would help, wouldn't it? Let's try and turn it on. On. It says it's scanning something. There's got to be a channel here somewhere. Thank you so much. Rhythm Nation. Maybe we'll just listen to music for this lesson. Get Joe from seven and join me at ten. That is a radio. With that in mind, let's dive into the lesson. So your learning objective for today is to understand the elements of radio drama and explore how a performance is put together. So radios, the technology that exists in here was actually invented over a hundred years ago in 1895. But it wasn't until 1922 that the BBC were able to broadcast radio shows, radio programs, radio dramas into boxes similar to this through the radio waves around people people's homes in the UK. That was the most digital way that people would experience any form of drama. And loads of different types of radio dramas were created for different genres. There were comedies, there were soap operas, there were thrillers, there were mysteries, all sorts of amazing things that people could tune into and enjoy. So I want to start by asking you to think about some examples of performance that you have already experienced. What's the first thing that comes to your mind? Is it something that is live, where you've been to a theatre space, a theatre venue, and you've seen a play or a musical? If you've seen Hamilton, very jealous, but I have seen it on Disney Plus and it's amazing. Or maybe you've been outside and seen some open air performance. Or maybe it's even like a film that you've watched recently where people are obviously acting and performing for the camera. But one way or another, you're going to have a lot of different experience with lots of different performance formats. Radio is just another one of those formats. Albeit, this is probably not how most of us listen to the radio. Let's just put that over there in the bin. But think about a performance in general. Even on some of the social media platforms that you're a part of, people have the ability to perform in different ways. Whether or not you're doing a dance routine for your favorite app, presuming that it doesn't get banned, or you can even create digital costumes, change your appearance. Let's have a look. Okay, well, here we go. Part of the, uh, the Drag Race UK. Yes. This is the next Elton John, the apocalypse. In our next lesson, we're going to be looking at War of the Worlds. I could be the next Tom Cruise. No, I don't want to be. I've got way too distracted on this. So there we go. That was a bit of a laugh. But there's one thing that all of these mediums have in common, and that is that they are all visual. We see them, we watch them, we're entertained through viewing them with our eyesight. So what's radio drama then? The radio is an audio-based performance. That means that we don't have any screens, we listen to it. We imagine what's happening and we create a picture in our mind about it. So it's a bit like a book, you actually create all of the images in your own mind while you're listening to the show. So let's have a look at task two. I want to show you a couple of pictures from a radio drama in action and just make a couple of notes about some of the things that you see so you can start a little bit of a discussion about it. This is the first one. What do we notice about this particular image? What do you see? I mean on first glance I see lots of people crowded around each other, lots of different props, instruments, a telephone. I don't know if you can see it but there is a man in the corner there with a gun, a pistol, a woman with some kind of switches. I don't know what they do but she's got some kind of switchboard, a drum. Interestingly they all actually look like they are in character. The woman there is kind of staring into space. The man in the middle there with the pen, it seems like he's really interested in finding out something that's happened. And then again we've got this other guy in the corner with this gun and he's got this really like interesting 
interesting facial expression as well. So it seems like they're all in character, they're all acting, but where's the audience? There's nobody there actually watching them perform. Their audience are sat at home, like you and I are probably right now, and they're listening to what's going on. Let's have a look at the next picture. They're a little bit more spaced out here, but again, we've got instruments. We've got this man, seems like he's got a board full of different bells. A man kind of in the back, opening and closing a door. Um, and I imagine that is for the sound of, well, the door opening and closing, obviously. Or even just like the doorknob, the handle, the turning, all sorts of things. But I find this really interesting, that this lady on the right here, she's wearing heels and she is walking on one single plank of wood. This clearly isn't some kind of like pirate radio play drama where someone's about to walk the plank. But the sound of her heels on wood will give the impression that she's walking into a big open space with wooden floors. We don't need to see it for everything. We're going to imagine it in our minds. So let's move on then to task three. Three? How do I do? <laughs> to task three. That looks weird. We're going to listen to um, a radio drama called Shadows of the Past. This was a show way back in the 1930s, I think. I think it was 1930s. Correct me if I'm wrong. And as you listen to it, make some notes about everything that you hear. Oh. Trader Faulkner and Kate Binchy in Shadows of the Past, a play for radio by Rosemary Timperley. Dramatic, isn't it? Footsteps on concrete there. Can I help you? Were you looking for someone? No. I'm sorry. Do you live there? In this house, yes. Strange seeing it again. Again? I used to live here many years ago. Bit That's creepy. why I was standing staring at it. Oh. I suppose... Would it be possible for me to look around? Don't do it. Oh, well, it's a bit difficult. It's all divided into bed sitters. Really? That must have changed its character a great deal. You lived here when it was all of a piece, did you? It's the house where I was born. I could show you the entrance hall if you like. Would you? I'd be grateful. Sure. Come on. Thank you. Ooh. Key in the door there. I don't remember this at all. Hardly surprising. So that is the snippet of that radio show. And what you should have done is written down a few things, ideas about the sounds that you heard. Some of you might have picked up on the footsteps, the door opening, a bit of dialogue, two people, a man and a woman talking about how he wants to see inside this house and everything. A little bit creepy. There was also double footsteps walking up the path. And then when he entered the door, there was this echoiness to his voice, which suggested that he'd walked into an open room. I wonder if you came up with any other ideas or any other thoughts, but some of the things that you'll have written down are all going to fall into four different elements of drama. And I want you to memorize these because you're going to need them as you go through. Music, sound effects, narration, and dialogue. Every single radio drama is made up of these four elements. Narration is simply uh, somebody introducing uh, and carrying the storyline forward. They might tell you something that's about to happen. Coming up in today's episode, we are going to be looking at the weather. Whatever it is, the narrator carries the story forward. The music underscores the play to set a bit of a mood and an atmosphere. But every radio drama always has their like intro music and their outro music. Ba, ba, ba. That is a recognizable piece of music. And of course, you've got your sound effects. The woman and the man walking. That just sounds like someone knocking on a table. Their footsteps on the concrete path is all done through creating sound effects. You might even hear traffic, sirens, you might hear birds, weather, a mobile phone ringing, car brakes screeching. Whatever it is, that sound effect has to be created. And then finally, and probably most importantly, is the dialogue. The dialogue helps you understand part of what's happening obviously carries the story forward. But you probably don't hear more than two or three people in a scene in a radio drama because too many voices become a bit too noisy and it's quite hard to pick out. So task four, so now you know what those radio elements are, either use this example, Shadows of the Past, or go and find a different radio drama online and listen to the first three minutes. You're gonna create a mind map with those four categories 
either side of it. And then I'm gonna add a fifth one in the middle to think about storyline. What's happened? What do you already know? What do you think might happen next? This is my example, and I've just put in a few questions for you under each of those headings so that you get a bit of an idea. So stay tuned for the next lesson where we're going to start to look at creating your script for your radio drama. I do hope you've enjoyed this lesson and I'll see you very soon.